Hi guys, have you voted to let me know what this should become yet? Check out the poll and vote so that you can tell me what technique you'd like to see me do on this canvas. It's 12 by 24 inch um, and yeah, it's all going to be done with your votes. So um, just head over to my community page, you'll have till 10 o'clock tonight to vote on it and if you're not sure how to vote, okay, just go to my channel, look up here, go to community and then just scroll down till you see the vote. So far I've got 20 votes and it's a three-way tie between Dutch Pour, Traveling Open Cup and Wandering Ring Pour. So let me know what you want to see this be and then Tuesday I will have another vote just like this but for colors, different color combinations. Or you can give me a different color combo in the comments once that's posted. And then we'll check out the results next week and I will go ahead and I will do the technique with those colors on this canvas. I look forward to seeing what you choose for me guys. Loves and hugs y'all. Bye! Hi guys! Welcome back to my studio. You guys remember this piece? Uh, I just did it, uh, showed a video of it for Fast Forward Friday night. It was a failed cloud pearl swipe that I thought I was going to be just genius about. And it was supposed to be all beachy and cool. And then that didn't work, so then I tried just doing the satin enamels, pearl, pour, tilt, and yeah, where they did pop up and stuff, I don't care for. It's got a little bunch of little specks and stuff, and all kinds of things that need touch-ups, and make it look better than it is, even though I really love the outcome of this. I love how stormy and everything it is. I'm not a fan of all the little specks. I think some things could be cleaned up and just look better. So I'm going to put on some music and start doing this and I will probably pause the fast forwarding and break through every once in a while maybe to explain something or why I'm doing something or what I'm using. Yeah, um, first off, I'm probably going to start with the darker areas. So, like these deep um, turquoise fallow and Payne's gray areas. And, um, oh yes, raw umber. We used raw umber also. So, yeah, I'm probably going to go in through these deep dark areas first. Okay, start the music. I'm using GAC 800 to thin down my paints and also to extend the dry time so that way hopefully as it dries it won't crack. So, just a little side note.
Okay, now, pearl sea green was not one of the original colors in this. Um, let's see. Pearl turquoise was. But I'm going to add it just to give it a little sparkle.
got something to say, you should hear it all. I'm happy to make time for your feelings, but you have to admit I already do. Let's just break it down to you and me uptown, dancing all around till the disco ball pops. But I have to be me, and everyone can see your anger is misplaced. with this piece <laughs> I know it's once I explain it it's probably going to be morbid to you guys I don't know um but for myself um yes that is death that is Death sitting there on his own little island, up in the clouds, looking down upon everything, and he's thrown down his sickle. Um, and I think he's looking down upon the world, thinking, 
I'm out of a job. You're all doing it for me. So, <laughs> I don't know how you guys feel about it, but that's how I see it. And I'm not trying to make any political or religious statements at all. It's just what comes to my mind when I look at it. You might see something completely different and that's okay and that is wonderful and that is what art is supposed to be. Um, but that is what this piece speaks to me. And I am going to call it Death Weeps. So, but I hope you enjoyed <laughs> the actual touch-up tutorial. Um, just some paint and brushes and um, putting a little bit of GAC into your paints. Um, especially if you don't have any leftover paints from your pour, which I did not. Um, this was actually porn quite a few weeks ago and yeah we're just getting to it now life's been weird around here um, <laughs> but um yeah so I don't know let me know what you think about this piece in the comments um, like I said I love it I will show a before and after and I hope you enjoyed this because I did. It's very relaxing to sit and just kind of meditate over your paint blendings and brushing work. And it doesn't have to have a rhyme or reason just like pouring doesn't have to. Um, if you just love creating, that's the important thing. So, loves and hugs you all. Bye.